Today, we'll explore 20 ways to reverse a Python list. This is just for knowledge, otherwise some of them aren't even recommended. Number one, the slicing trick. It creates a reversed copy of the list. Number two, the reversed function. It returns an iterator that can be converted into a list. Number three, list.reverse method. This modifies the original list instead of creating a new one. Number four, using the range function, creates a new list by iterating over indices in reverse. Simple and effective, but less readable. Number five, using a slice object creates a reversed copy of the list. Works the same as the slicing trick. Number six, using a for loop, looping from the last index to the first and appending elements. Works, but not as efficient as slicing. Number seven, list comprehension approach, a compact version of the for loop approach. Number eight, using a while loop, manually iterating from the last index. Works, but not Pythonic. Number nine, the recursive approach. Recursively appends the last element first, not memory efficient due to function call overhead. Number 10, using zip function. Extracts elements using zip function, not recommended for readability. Number 11, using the map function. Applies a function to reverse indices, a creative but less efficient approach. Number 12, using enumerate. Sorts indices in reverse order, neat but not efficient. Number 13, using stack uses last in first out stack behavior, conceptually simple. Number 14, using sorted with custom key, sorts elements in reverse order by index, clever but not practical. Number 15, using the reduce function, reduces the list by accumulating elements in reverse order, not memory efficient and slow for large lists. Number 16, using double encoded queue, used for efficient modifications. Efficient for modifying large lists, but overkill for small ones. Number 17, using operator.itemgetter. Fetches reversed indices. Efficient, but not intuitive. Number 18, using iterTools.isSlice. Slices an iterator from the end. Works, but overly complex. Number 19, using a generator. Working out with lazy evaluation. No real advantage. The final one, using bitwise not operator. Bitwise not flips indices. Weird, but works. That was 20 ways to reverse a list in Python. Some are fast, some are creative, and some are just for fun. But the best choices for real-world use are these. Which one surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Python tricks.